We spoke with Governor Walker today. He maintains there is no confirmed cases of Elizabeth Kenya in children in Wisconsin. But this comes after doctors at Children's Hospital say they found a strain of the bacteria in a baby there earlier this week. NBC 26's Marissa DiCandido is live at 10 with a closer look at what this means for your kids. Well, Cassandra, the Elizabeth Kenya outbreak in Wisconsin is the largest in the country with 59 confirmed cases, all in older adults. Now, the state health department hasn't confirmed this case at Children's Hospital, but if they do, it could be a concern for parents in our state. Rob Price says he doesn't know that much about Elizabeth Kenya. I'm not really informed about it, but I would definitely like them to look into it. Look into it now that it could be affecting children in Wisconsin. Anything that concerns our kids concerns me. But the state health department isn't saying anything is definite yet. The state right now does not have a confirmed case of that strain amongst a child. According to the state, there are four different strains of Elizabeth Kenya. The strain affecting babies is different than the one causing the state's outbreak. We take this issue very seriously, which is why we transferred staff. Even while the federal government pulled out some of their staff in the past, uh, we've shifted additional monies and resources in to make sure we've got the staff to track it here. Those who work with children say they'll do whatever they can to make sure kids stay safe and healthy. We always want to stay ahead of that kind of thing. If there's any kind of outbreaks in the area, you know, we, we want to know about it and learn about it and have our staff know about it. But until it's confirmed, parents say they're just waiting for more information. Parents tell me the thing they're most worried about is that doctors still don't know what's causing this outbreak. Keeping you connected, Marissa DeCandido, NBC 26.